to me so you deck from Battle Kid Show and today I'm gonna be talking about the one and only the best place in the world Ethiopia Reed, clap your hands for Ethiopia so today I'm gonna be talking about Ethiopia and the in the Bible well I'm a Christian and I love Ethiopia so why don't we put those combined well guess what the Bible says many good things in, about Ethiopia um, my agar, the place I really love, the Degnit Ethiopia, that place. I'm talking about Ethiopia, not other places, just Ethiopia. That's what I'm talking about. It's mentioned more than 50 times in the Bible. That's how much Jesus loves um, Ethiopia. Jesus really talks about Ethiopia. Dark-skinned people, smooth-skinned people. And he talks about it a lot in the Bible and that makes me happy and very happy that I'm an Ethiopian girl and I'm a Jagneet because Ethiopia is a Jagneet and you guys are too. I'm not saying just me. I'm the Jagneet one. I'm the lower. No, I'm saying you guys too. Everyone, if you're born in Ethiopia or you have a family in Ethiopia or if you just love Ethiopia, you're a family of Ethiopia. Ethiopia loves you. That's why God loves Ethiopia. Ethiopia is just so nice to everyone. Well, the Bible says many good things like the smooth-skinned people. Yeah, we're smooth-skinned people now that I think of it. And the Bible also says we're the rivers. Guess what, guys? Even the Nile River from Ethiopia. Well, we'll talk about Egypt and Sudan in another video. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, which was all about Egypt and Sudan, Ethiopia, kicking them out and being nice to them. All of those videos in my YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. Now, back to the topic. As I was saying, Jesus loves Ethiopians. Jesus loves everyone, but Jesus loves everyone. I'm not saying Ethiopia is the best from every country in the world, or Jesus loves Ethiopia the most. I'm saying, I, in my opinion, I think Ethiopia is the best. I'm not saying, I'm just, I, Jesus said that, well, Jesus loves Ethiopia. Jesus loves America. Jesus loves other places, too. But Jesus loves Ethiopia, too, too. Like, it loves, Jesus loves Ethiopia a lot like a lot like every other place but it likes Ethiopia too it's proud of Ethiopia and God made Ethiopia and Jesus always helped Ethiopia in many ways Ottawa that's one many more stories I can tell you guys but this is one video not a subject about all of the protectors of Ethiopia not Ottawa of course but if you want to check out my Ottawa videos that's in my YouTube channel too but anyways, Jesus really loves Ethiopia. It's like mentioned 50, more than 50. I was like, when I first heard the video, I was like, oh, it's 50 times mentioned in the Bible. And then 50 more. When it's, I heard more, I, I could have needed a dictionary that time. A dictionary. More means more. More, more, more. More than how it is already. And I was like, wow, I'm so blessed to be an Ethiop Ethiopian. But I'm always blessed to be Ethiopian. But when I heard that, I was like, what? Jesus, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be Ethiopian. I was like that. And that was a very happy feeling that you get. When you just hear something good about your country, you feel happy. And God has helped Ethiopia like many times. Like, like a lot of times. Did you guys know that I, you know about the Egypt and Sudan thingy? Guess what? Sudan gave up anyways. So Jesus really helped Ethiopia. Even Jesus gave Ethiopia all this water and resources. Things that Ethiopia needs. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we always have to pray for our anger. If we pray for Ethi if we pray to Jesus to help Ethiopia, Jesus will help Ethiopia. It ha matters how many people that pray for Ethiopia. That's what matters. And how you pray too. Then Jesus will help Ethiopia. But if we stop praying for Ethiopia, or we stop, we stop giving good luck, if we stop helping Ethiopia, then God, he will, something bad will happen. Ethiopia will be unprotected. Ethiopia is strong anyways. But still, Ethiopia is stronger with us in it. It needs its children. How your grown up needs you. Sometimes, if my dad doesn't say something right, which only sometimes happens, if that happens, he needs my help to help him. That's the same thing. Ethiopia is there. It gave birth to children. All of us, you guys and me, it gave birth to us children for a reason. So we can help it. Like Ottawa, same thing. 
Ethiopia made Aitu and Mininik. So Aitu and Mininik helped Ethiopia to be protected. Same thing, we have to give back to our country too. And God will help us with helping our country too, Ethiopia. God will help Ethiopia and we will help Ethiopia too. With God's help, we can help. I managed to help children, I managed to help Ethiopia. If I helped Ethiopia, I couldn't have done it by myself. My friends and Jesus, I needed those two important things that I needed. Without Jesus or without friends, I could have never helped Ethiopia. It would take me a long time. Maybe I would have to be like 30 or something to help Ethiopia. And that's, that's too old. Well, it's not old, but I could have done it at a younger age. And here I am, a nine-year-old, and my friends, even younger than nine, even maybe they're four or five years old, and they can help Ethiopia in different, many different ways. God's help. If I don't have God or if I don't believe in God, I couldn't help Ethiopia, guys. <laughs> and we all have to help Ethiopia. And Jesus really loves Ethiopia. He loves other people. Like Jesus loves the whole, everyone in the world. Jesus loves us too. And if he loves us and we pray to God every day, then Jesus will help us to help Ethiopia. And Ethiopia, we love you so much. Your food, your heritage, everything. I don't know how to count them. Your history, your geography, everything's amazing, Ethiopia. But we still need God. God loves us. God loves everyone. God loves Ethiopia. God loves every country. Even in Ethiopia, there are many smart people, many smart people that do tech, like technology, like robots, making Ethiopia better. We all children have a voice. We all children have a power. We all children have a brain that we can help Ethiopia with. God gave us this whole powers to help Ethiopia. God loves every place, but the place I love the most is Ethiopia. And guess what? It's not just the people. It's fans too. There are many people that love Ethiopia. It's not just the Ethiopians themselves. Even if you're not a family of Ethiopia and you're not from Ethiopia, you you can still love Ethiopia and Ethiopia will still love you. You are still a son or a daughter of Ethiopia. And then we just, God will help you. God is very important. If we don't have God with us, it will be, let me give you an example. Even if you don't like Barbie dolls and everything, we're like just Barbie dolls. Well, not Barbie dolls like this. I mean like, we're toys. God created, when someone makes a toy, they make it very good. When you get a Barbie doll, it looks pretty, right? Or a Barbie man, if that will look pretty still. So without God, we can't move. A Barbie doll can't move anywhere. It needs someone to control it. We need God to control us. If we if we don't have God to control us, we'll be 24 hours of our life. So if we don't have God with us, we'll be a Barbie doll. We'll be stuck on, we'll be on the same place. We won't have any path to go. We'll be just straight as a statue. And if we're straight as a statue, how are we supposed to help Ethiopia? We'll be like, and then we can't help anyone. But since we have God, all of the Ethiopians, we have God with us. We have a protector named Jesus Christ. And he will help us. And then we'll be protected. And we won't be a statue. We will be a human being created by God. And then we can help Ethiopia. And take our path walking and walking to every adventure. There are problems in the world, but we can still help Ethiopia. And God and Ethiopia together makes Ethiopia even wonderful. So now I'm going to pray for Ethiopia. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my hands together and bow. Jesus Christ, thank you for everything you've done. Please help Ethiopia with everything it does. Ethiopia needs your help. Without you, we need your help. We will be Barbie dolls if you don't help us, Jesus. We need your help. We love you, Jesus. Protect Ethiopia. Make it Make it a better place for all of us. It's good already, but make it even better, Jesus. Bless Ethiopia. Bless, bless um, the prime minister. Bless all of the president, presidents and the prime ministers. My people, my family, and other Ethiopian families. Help other people that are not even Ethiopians to accept in Ethiopia. Amen. 
I hope you guys pray too for your auger. It's very important to pray for Ethiopia. And Ethiopia, I love you so much. Have a great day. I know. And, and have a prosperity, Ethiopia. Grow. Be beautiful. And I hope that I visit Ethiopia one day to see how much my Ethiopia has grown, how much Ethiopia has changed since last time I've been there because last time I've been in Ethiopia, well, I didn't visit Ethiopia, but that's what I'm planning to do anyways. Well, we're, we are hoping to go to Ethiopia. But when I was first in Ethiopia, I was one years old, then I came. But maybe things have changed. My, ever since I made videos about Ethiopia, I think Ethiopia's changed. I can't wait to see you, Ethiopia. When I see you, I'm gonna kiss everything in Ethiopia, and I'll make, I'll make my even own souvenir collection about Ethiopia. Oh, hi Ethiopia! Ethiopia is being happy right now. Well, bye Ethiopian friends. Bye. Ah, have a great day, Ethiopia.